In today's video, I'll be telling you everything you need to know about chess shops on the Loverfell server, mainly focusing on how to use them and how to set them up. Okay, so once I am in my claim, I'm going to place down two chests and then a sign. On that sign, you're going to do that square bracket, shop, square bracket, and done. This will open up this GUI and the sign looks like this, so you know it did correctly, otherwise your name's a little different. Once you click into the shop, you'll see there's nothing in here. So you're going to want to head into the chest and you're going to want to put all of your items that you are planning on selling into there. I got, I got a bunch of heads just to show you guys what we need. Once they're all in there, you will right click to get back into the sign and you will see they were all shown here. You can use this button to show with the next items if they don't all fit, if you have more than 27 items in the chest but now let's set a buying and selling price so as you can see if you hover over the item you want to sell or buy you will have left click to set a buying price so if i left click with my mouse you will now be able to set a buying price so your buying price is what you are buying from other people so this is if you were taking from someone else so for this head i'm just going to do 100 dollars, and then amount is going to be one head so i'm going to be buying one head for $100 each. If I wanna set a selling price, I'm going to right click this. This is how much you are selling to other people, how much they are going to be paying you to get this item. So again, we're gonna set it for $200 for uh, one. Now I am selling them for $200 each and buying them for $100. And once you do that and you are ready to set a buy or sell price, you're going to press this yellow die to update the shop and save it. Nothing will show up in the actual shop menu for the person buying until you press that yellow die. You are able to price every single one of these items exactly the same. And if you no longer want to sell them for a certain amount of time, you can just press the drop button. So whatever your drop button is queued normally as a default to clear all of the settings. If we now look up at the top, you will see that there are bundles. You can have a total of seven bundles. So if you wanna put items into a bundle, all you have to do is left click. Once you left click, it should look like an enchanted minecart. And now you're just going to click the items you want to sell. So I'm going to sell this Christmas cow amount that you want in the bundle. So how many you're going to be selling in that bundle? One. And the special thing about bundles is that you can sell multiple items for the amount you set for that bundle. So now we're going to click on netherite shards. I'm selling two in this bundle at it buy. Now, if we go back up, we can set a buy price. This is how much they are going to be paying for the bundle. All you have to do is right click and set the buying price. So we have one head and two netherite scraps every single time they buy this so i'll just i'll just charge like ten thousand dollars for that and you will see up there price ten thousand and the items that are actually in here for the most part are enchanted unless they're heads we'll press save and now people will be able to buy bundle seven where they get of course two netherite scraps and the cow after that, if you want to be more specific with what's in this bundle, so if you say like a bunch of random heads, you're now going to shift and click. So now you can set a name. So we're just going to do subscribe. If you guys have not already, make sure to subscribe, sub rice, I guess now that's how it's going to be sub rice. And now the chest shop is fully set up. If you want, you can add more bundles and sell those. And you can also add more items that you are selling and buying from other people. And now we are over on our alt. A casual player walks up to your chest shop. Hmm, I want to buy something. And you'll see right here, it doesn't show any of the items that you haven't priced yet. So that's very helpful. Keep it nice and neat. So I'm going to right click this and buy one head for $200. And then I, I don't actually want it. So I'm just going to sell it back. So we're just going to left click it and sell it for $100. You'll see in chat that you actually get a message. Red arrow if it's taking money away and green arrow if it's adding money. So you sold something to someone. For bundles, you'll see that there are six bundles bundles not full like we had and only one sub rice and it contains a cow head and a netherite scrap to view what's in this bundle if you are buying from someone else you can left click and it will show everything that's in this bundle very nice feature and it really makes sure that you aren't getting scammed you know what you're getting the number of items you're getting per a bundle and now if we want to buy this bundle we're just going to right click and it's added into our inventory we lose ten thousand dollars and that's of course the price that's up in the top we can buy it again if we wanted to, but there is actually not enough cow heads over there. My mistake. <laughs> you are able to buy a bundle infinite amount of times. I think there's a lot of uses that you could use for bundles. Like if you want to sell a bunch of enchants for swords, you can have a bundle called sword enchants and then you have that in there. Or if you have a bunch of wither skulls, you could do like pre-made wither, sell three wither heads and four blocks of soul sand as a bundle and then they'll buy that. 
Okay, and there we go. That is everything you need to know about how to use chest shops. If I miss something, leave it down in the description. If you have another tutorial you want to see on the Loverfellow server, leave it down in the description. And for even more tutorials on the Loverfellow server, make sure to subscribe and go check out some of my other videos. But without further ado, hope you enjoyed the video. And like always, have a great day.